Hey y'all, my name is Tyson, and this week let's compare the native weld tool with an extension, Auto Weld. So a few months back, I did a, a different skill builder on the native weld tool. And one of the things I want to do here is correct a, a, little, mm -hmm. a little error I made there. But also I do want to show the difference because there is an extension in Roth's auto weld that has some additional functionality that you may find useful. In transparency, it is a paid plugin. At, at this time, I believe it costs $10. So not trying to suggest that it's necessary, but the differences are something that you may find interesting. Let's have a look. So I'm going to come in here and uh, we've got our larger than life camera and let's create a new lens for it. So I'm going to use this path and follow me and we've got a lens that looks great. However, if we look at the hidden geometry, follow me will break up edges uh, into their individual segments. Now that may not be something that concerns you. We don't really see that without turning hidden edges on unless we turn on certain styles. So if I turn on, for example, endpoints or extensions, um, all of a sudden every segment is rendered with an endpoint and extension on it. And that may or not, may not be a look you're going for. Now we obviously don't have to turn this on, but if we come in here and I can use the native weld tool and I do a left to right selection, I can then right click and say weld edges, or I've got it on a keyboard shortcut and weld. That looks a lot better. Those are much cleaner because those edges have been welded back together. A couple things to note about this. Again, that's the native weld tool. If we look at entity info, the native weld tool is going to weld those uh, edges back into a curve, right? It's not a true circle. A true circle is something where we can find, for example, if I use the line tool, the center on. But these, we will not. They're a curve. Also, I did this by doing a left to right selection like this without the hidden geometry showing. If I turn the hidden geometry on and I do a selection like that, it selects the hidden edges. So when I go to weld, nothing happens because it doesn't like all those crossing edges. So if you're gonna use the native weld tool, keep that in mind that you may want to keep the hidden geometry off and do a left to right selection. And then when I hit weld, you can see the weld works correctly. Now let me undo and compare that with the auto weld tool. And just to show it, It is this tool right here, NROS Auto Weld. And like I said, it is a paid plugin, so you can evaluate whether or not that's something that you are interested in. I'm gonna undo all the way back to creating this. And I'm gonna leave this extensions and endpoints on just so that we can see when things are welded or not. So I create this lens and it is all of these segments. If I select all of this, even if I turn hidden geometry on, as we just saw, the native weld tool wouldn't work on this selection. But if I go up to auto weld and hit weld, it's gonna take a moment because it's actually evaluating all the geometry. And it did weld them. It didn't, didn't matter that we had uh, all of these other edges. In fact, it did such a good job that it welded edges in here as well. And each of these is welded back into a circle. If you remember, the native tool welds these back into curves. But if I use the line tool, 
we actually can see the center point because it's welded them back into circles. It will try to, and try to weld arcs back into arcs. So that's one difference between the native tool and auto weld, is that it's going to do a more comprehensive job and it's going to try to weld these back into circles or arcs rather than just curves. Let's look at another example. This one, if we had this as a railing or a path of some sort, and I use follow me, again, we can see this sort of rendering artifacts of the extensions because follow me breaks these all up into the individual segments. This is a case where the native weld tool, as we just saw, if we try to select this and weld, it's not going to work. It doesn't like all of these um, segments in between. It might work on, you know, for example, this, if I turn off hidden geometry, and it did, but it's not going to work on the path itself. I'm going to select this again, and this time run auto weld. This should take a moment, but not that long. And like we saw over here, it actually goes through and finds any of these edges that can be welded and welds them back. So this edge, this long edge is welded all the way along the path and so are others. The rendering effect looks better and uh, that, is, that is pretty cool. Again, something you may or may not need, but it is something that is possible with Interoth version as opposed to the native tools. Let me show one more example with these two exa uh, examples. I'm going to undo all the way back before we created these. One other function of Interoth is that there are some default settings that can be running in the background, and I'm just going to use this one. Auto weld on follow me. So now that is on, it is running in the background. When I select and create follow me, it is going to automatically run anytime we use follow me. So it's just welded these edges automatically. Same thing here. If I select this path, choose follow me, it's going to weld them in real time. And so that can just be running in the background so that you don't need to invoke it after follow me. Now I want to show one more example, uh, again, over here on our, our camera. And let me toggle monochrome mode on so we can see. Again, based on however you created this, Here's an example where maybe I want, I don't want these rendering artifacts. Now I could do a left to right selection and test the native well tool. And that works here. But there are some cases up here where it wouldn't. We just saw that it wouldn't probably work on this cable. So we want to select that. And this time use auto weld and it would work. I want to show um, this handle. Let's say we're going through and welding some of these. That can be welded by default or, or we're doing it afterwards. But if I look at hidden geometry, I still have the option to take this handle and extend it if I needed to make this longer. But the moment I weld this geometry with native weld tool or with uh, auto weld, either one, what it's going to do is weld some of these edges that before were broken. And so now when I try to select just this geometry and move it, oh, we get, we get really, really uh, warped effect. This is merely to say that weld is really cool. It, it's gonna work uh, and do a lot of interesting things for you. But if you find that you're trying to stretch geometry around, and it's giving you weird results, that is because if you weld edges like this, it's going to mess with this notion that we could take this geometry and stretch it anymore. Um, just a precautionary something to keep in mind 
that while Weld is really cool, in every case, it may or may not be something you need. All right, that's it. Native Weld and Auto Weld, uh, both powerful tools to have in your arsenal. Which one's better for you? That's up to you and the work you do. But hopefully now you have a better idea of where one or the other might be more useful. Thank you as always for joining us and please let us know what you thought and what else you would like to see us work through in future skill builders. And we want, we put these out on the regular. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.